but that's okay. If they come in, they come in. Mm -hmm. um, All right. So scripture and pr oh, prayer requests. How's um? we heard anything about Reverend Burgess? She's still... I haven't heard anything else. Haven't okay. We just put her on the sick and shut in because yeah. yeah. we know she's healing. Yeah. Yeah. And then Marion. Yeah, I'll leave Marion. What's uh, that? I was I was saying and I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, no, go ahead. No, I was just saying just leave my family, you know, Sadie. Yeah. She was due back at work and I talked to her today. That's the one I was on the phone with for so long. Yeah. And she's um so they're giving her more time and which is a blessing. Good. So she's not headed back to work yet. So that's uh that's good. A little more healing time. And who is this? This is Sadie. She was the, my sister who was in the automobile yeah. accident. And then she had the carpal tunnel surgery. And so, and she says her hand, you know, the one she had the surgery on, I was worried because it's, um, she does retail. She's a cashier. And mm -hmm. I was worried how that would work. And she said, there's still some pain. And um, so she's still doing, you know, some exercise yeah. and stuff for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her name always reminds me of that song from a uh, funny girl, Sadie, Sadie, married lady. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know if you've ever girl. seen that musical with Barbara Streisand. But... I know that musical, but the oh, Sadie yeah, number, Sadie, that Sadie is Sadie. Sadie. yeah, after she marries mm. the, the guy, yeah. okay. The song. yeah. I don't know that song, no, oh, it's yeah. great. Oh, I love that movie. One. one of my yeah. favorites, the music in it is awesome, good. yeah. Um. Try to reach out to uh, the Duncans, uh, Deacon Duncan and Betty Duncan. Okay. Uh, calling, uh, calling their home phone because I heard that was the one that was the, the best to call. Okay. Uh, left some voicemails because Tim and I wanted to make a visit, but did not, um, didn't get a response yet, which okay. caused me, uh, for him and I, to be concerned why are we not getting responses. So mm -hmm. I did um, email Valerie today and I'm hoping to get an email back from her uh, mm -hmm. saying, hey, what's going on with them? And can you enlighten them that we want to come and visit? Okay. Oh, good. And, good. and, and Tim also, um, I think he emailed a text, Ken Duncan. To oh, ask mm -hmm. the same. So we're trying to reach out to, you know, the children. Uh -huh. so we can to get, get to them. them. I think Pastor talked to one of them. I think he may have talked to Betty, I want to say. I'm not okay. sure, but I think he finally got a hold of someone because he okay. had tried to call as well. But okay. I'm well, not for we, sure on that. But we want to get a response back because we do still plan on on you know wanting to visit them. So we just gotta keep at it until we, we get an affirmative. So mm -hmm. yeah. And just keep them both on the, you know, on in oh, our yeah. uh, remember them on our in our Definitely. prayers. Family. Definitely. Yeah. I know that our prayer list is getting so long. I like sometimes I'm like, should I leave this one on? Because I'm running out of space. I only have so much space. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll put them up on the sick and shut in list and take them off the bottom part. Yeah. So. And mm -hmm. then you can rotate sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rotate mm -hmm. it in, you know, they come out or then the other, then the next week exactly. they go back on and somebody else. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Were you able to get in contact with Sister Ellis? Me? Michelle? Yeah. Sister. Oh, were you going to call? No, that's why I, I mentioned yeah. that to you. No, uh, shame, okay. shame on me. No, uh -oh. I did not. I, you know, I got to see if I have, a, I don't know if I told you if I had a number or not. And I'm I checking to I, see if I do. Okay. But I will, I will try to do that. I will try to do that. I'll try to find a way that I can get her number. Okay. And let me, I think I may have her number. Um, remember, because you or I would either, either pick her up or drop her off at home. So right, right. Uh, if you can't find it, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send you what I have. Oh, it would okay. be so nice to see her at service. Yes. And I know how she's doing. Okay. As yeah. far as I know, the plan is to have service indoors this Sunday. Okay. As, as planned, but you know, yeah, I'm sure that'll be, it'll be fine. Cause we don't ever have more than 50 people I and mean, we barely get 20. So that we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. 
Yeah. Um, something else I was going to say about, you know, oh, I talked to pastor about, you know, uh, using the wise and wonderful list to contact the people because we can't just call people. And he said that would be okay because they've already given their permission for us okay. to call so we can call from you know, doing that. So I was going to go through the list and see who's still living. <laughs> yeah, you have still- it or do you need it? I don't even I have, have to- I have the wise and wonderful list. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because awesome. I used to call. But um, so I will go through that. And then when we, you know, meet again or whatever, talk, maybe we can divide up some of the names. Okay. And uh, just say, you know, we're just checking from yeah. Wise and wonderful, or community Baptist Church, or whatever. Cool. Sounds so good. That would be okay. Awesome. All right. All right. So, who's got scripture? Who's got prayer? I'll do prayer tonight. Oh, okay. Is that all right? Of, of course, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You've been so diligent, Sister Alicia. I know. I, know. Yeah. I, I really don't mind. I, I don't yeah. mind prayer. It's just All funny. Right. It's just funny. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, Alicia. We're like... I know. Oh, I keep, yeah, you keep thinking oh, that of that time. Okay, Alicia. Let's funny. Pray. That was so funny. <laughs> let's pray. Let's pray. Go on, that Alicia. Was <laughs> we're at, Mary, oh, we're, at, we're at church in. Uh, who is that? Um, was that, that Julie? Oh, Julie. Julie. Julie, Julie, Julie came up to us and we said, oh, "Well, she, we need to pray. Know, we need she to pray." And I she said, "I said, yeah." And she, I mean, she was all excited and oh, she looked, yeah. "Okay, at least you pray." And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, oh yeah, we like, gotta go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do this, and and you're right. We gotta bring that. We gotta have you know rain down from heaven and you gotta have it okay we're ready to pray okay alicia pray that was hilarious we absolutely to... absolutely that is so funny. i will forever remember that oh that was so funny so who funny. has scripture for us then i'll do i'll do scripture oh, okay. i had um 30 psalm 34 and verse I'm, i think i'm going to start at uh verse 14 to verse 22 to the oh, end okay. of that to the end of that chapter um and it says depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry the face of the lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as he of a contrite spirit. Many are afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. So I've read to you chapter, uh, the 34th Psalms, uh, Psalm, verses 14 to 22. All right. Amen. May, Amen. May Lord bless the reading of, of his word. Amen. Now, as we bring our attentions of our hearts and our minds towards, uh, towards heavenward, towards the Lord, Father God, we're just recognizing you, dear Lord, as the one true God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the triune God, God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son and your Holy Spirit that dwells within us. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask now that you would forgive us of our sins, forgive us of our shortcomings and things that we have done that we know of and what we know not of that has not been pleasing in your sight or has been disobeying your will and your way and your commandments. Please forgive us in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Father God, we're thanking you for our Bible study, for those that are present, dear Lord, and for those who have a mind to want to be with us, but who are not with us, Dear God, we encourage and pray that they will 
soon join us, dear Lord, and that others also may be inspired and encouraged to join. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that you bring to us to where we can be guided, dear Lord, to where we can just uh, uh, put on uh, righteousness that you give us through Jesus Christ. Help us, dear Lord, to be more the image of your son, dear God. Mm -hmm. Help us in our struggles, dear Lord, that we have where we are in our flesh, dear Lord, or where we have put the things of the world above what it is that you require of us. So help us, dear Lord, in that regard. Dear Heavenly Father, we come specifically for those in our midst, in our fellowship, and in our family that uh, need your, your help, dear Lord, need your healing, dear God. And we need physical healing for those, dear Lord. We have the sister Sadie and Marion of Harriet and just her family in general. They yes. have various uh, um, uh, things that are, are help that they need physically, dear God. And dear Lord, mm -hmm. uh, we have others that my mother and, and her ailments, dear God, these things can be discouraging to, to those that are in our family and our friends and loved ones. And yes. we ask that you keep them encouraged, dear God, help their faith to be put in their trust, to be put in mm -hmm. you and to know that you're, you're, you're for them and that they will get through whatever is tough and hard for them to bear. You help them endure it. You help them mm -hmm. to be sustained through it. Thank Sister you. Burgess, dear God, and dear Heavenly Father, all those that are suffering from ailments, dear God, and, and those that we know that have been, been revived and restored and healed, such as Teresa's son, Larry, and others, dear God, that mm -hmm. we can say, yes, Lord, he's done it. He's healed, and, and, and it will happen again. Mm -hmm. Let us be encouraged by their healing and the, the yeah. goodness that you poured out on them. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, those that need to be restored just in, in being uh, revived because they're they're growing tired and they're beginning to faint. Dear Lord, be with Sister Johnson and help her as she's trying to to administer to the the ladies, dear God, and yes. pray that she can get uh, arrested from from having to do that day in and day out. That that her needs will be met, dear Lord, yes. and, and yes. just revive us in and in, invigorate us in our spirit to be able yes. to keep pressing on, dear God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our church's uh, uh, administrative uh, ones that, that devote their time and their energy, starting with our pastor, dear God, and we pray that you would free them up from the burdens that, that they may have with uh, family and issues, whether it be finances or whatever it is, dear God, we pray that those things will not keep them down from being able to do the work that you want and Amen. have us to do, dear Lord. Amen. We're thanking Amen. you for everybody who participates and sacrifices and devotes their time to the effort of keeping our church invigorated and growing, dear God. And we pray mm -hmm. that uh, we will still have a drawing power, dear God, to those that are that are in need of hearing the gospel and, mm -hmm. and living, living this life, dear God. We yes. just thank you, dear Lord. Pray that our Bible study today, that we're able to glean from it, the uh, help that we need, dear Lord, in our day-to-day living Please. this Christian life, dear God. We yes. just thank you. Thank and you. Dear Lord, for those that I may not have, have spoken about or, or have prayed for, dear Lord, you know. You know before we even come before you what is necessary. Yes. So we're asking, dear Lord, that you would send your covering to all those that are in need, dear God. We just thank you for the opportunity to just share with each other. And yes. dear Lord, we pray you be in our midst. Amen. In Jesus' name, thank God, amen. 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 Thank you. All right, new lesson. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, grace gifts. So, this one last week was one through six, and this week is seven through 16, Ephesians 4. So, I did. Oh my goodness, I really. Oh, there it is. There we go. 
Okay, pray for wisdom and read Ephesians 4, 7 through 16. Do you want me to read that part? Sure. But, but to each of us, grace was given according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he captured captives. He gave gifts to men. Now, what is the meaning of he ascended? Except that he also descended to the tower regions, namely the earth. He, the very one who descended, is also the one who ascended above all the heavens in order to fill all things. It was he who gave some up, some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry. That is to build up the body of Christ until he until we all attain the unity of faith and all the knowledge of the Son of God, a mature person, attaining to the measure of Christ's full stature. So we are no longer to be children tossed back and forth by waves and carried about by every wind of teaching, by the tri trickery of people who craftily carry out their deceitful schemes, but practicing the truth in love, we will all, we in all things grow up into Christ who is the head. From him, the whole body grows, fitted and held together through every supporting ligament. ligament. As each one does its part, the body grows in love. Awesome. All right. Okay. According to verse seven, who receives grace gifts? So that was the first, right? Each mm -hmm. one of us. Mm -hmm. That was the first. Uh, but to each one of us, grace was given. Okay. Mm hmm. And it just has a little blurb on grace was given. It says in New Testament contexts where spiritual gifts appear, we usually find the concept of grace. One of God's graces to the church is his equipping each of us with a gift or gifts of the spirit for edification of the body. Notice that the work of ministry is not the task of some paid clergy member, <laughs> but the job of every believer. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Did we do this? Uh, no. 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 It's the I one it's after. Yeah, I know because we did the last one we did was um, one, one, one. We did part one and part two of one, okay. one, one. Because I think we were talking about what our gifts were, but maybe that was in reference no, to we, No, we did, but it wasn't, it, it's, this is a different chapter, a okay. different section. Yeah, but, yes, all right. it is. but you're right that she did talk about uh, spiritual gifts. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah that's one. okay. Yeah, it's just no, you're right. Deja vu was coming in. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. When I was typing and I'm like, I did, I looked twice. I'm like, wait, did we do did that? We, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, but, you know, no, that's fine. Yeah, but you're right. And I did the same thing. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Complete this sentence. I I think my spiritual gifts or gifts is R. L a couple, whenever we did this last, I put grace and compassion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think I'm adding patience. <laughs> 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 just saying maybe you should add long suffering oh yeah oh, no, but those are, wait wait are those yeah spirit um no. are, was that galatians 5 22 is that yeah what that yeah the spiritual gifts are they're different than the administrative remember we were talking about you know harriet and and um uh, uh, Alicia were uh, teachers, teachers and yeah, right, right, right. administration, and Teresa was, you know, the um, uh, yeah. 
encouraging and yes things. so those those gifts were different than the spiritual gifts that we're talking about peace and and right. long suffering and see you know, the, the nlt says love joy peace patience kindness yeah. oh. goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control yeah. okay so, but I remember it was lot, maybe it was a different version because that's mm -hmm. NLT, um, uh, Galatians 5.22, but. Mm -hmm. okay. So the spiritual gifts are different than the mercy helps and those things, the, those uh, help me, you guys, because I'm getting but, confused. Where are you what going? What is your question? Um, you know, where it says, well, maybe it's in this where it talks about prophets, evangelists, pastors, you know, where we have yeah. our gifts, where we have our gifts, and we said the gifts of help. Some people have the gift of mercy, some people mm -hmm. have the gift of that. Now, is that different than the, the other is the fruit of the spirit? That's what that is. Right. That, that's, that's Galatians 5.22. Yeah. Right. That's the fruits true. Of yeah. Not the, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, my mind was getting confused there for a minute. Oh, no, God. Yeah, one, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they're not looking for, she's not looking for like teacher or preacher or pastor or whatever, but the, like peace, love, wisdom, uh, patience, uh, long suffering. <laughs> yeah, so she, she, really, when she says spiritual gifts. She's talking yeah. in terms of those fruits that are supposed to be coming out. Mm. You know, Maybe. that we're supposed to exhibit as opposed to the ones that are your gifts that are to be for the bot, you know, for the body. Right. Like the work we do or, or what exactly. we, yeah. Mm. Or she may just be having yeah. them all together. Who knows? Yeah. Can we go back and read that, that section one more time? Maybe? Yeah. Which thank one? you. Go yeah, ahead. Sure. Hold on. One God, one. This one here? Which one? one? Starting at 11, 11, verse of four, chapter four, 11. Is that 4, it? Four, 11 is, uh, it was he who gave, yeah. Which is where? Right here. It was he. Some apostles. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I guess in reference to the ministry, what you think your spiritual gifts or gift is or are. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, service. I mean, I that is. You know, I do. I have a heart to serve, and that that is a gift because not everybody does. And there are people that have hearts to serve but aren't able to in that capacity, but they serve in other ways, you know, but a heart to serve God is a heart to serve God, no matter whether it's inside the walls of a church or not. Let me read what my little application, because I think Harriet also reads from the life application Bible. Let me read you what the chapter four, verse 11 highlights as, you know, an application in life for that. Okay. Okay. So it says, our oneness in Christ does not destroy our individuality. The Holy Spirit has given each Christian special gifts for building up the church. Now that we have these gifts, it's crucial to use them. Are you spiritually mature, exercising the gifts God has given you? If you know what your gifts are, Look for the opportunities to serve. If you don't know, ask God to show you, perhaps with the help of your minister or your Christian friends. Then as you begin to recognize your special area of service, use your gifts to strengthen and encourage the church. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, they also have another application for the, the other verses that follow, but that was for when it says, you know, gave some to be apostles, prophets. So mm -hmm. I guess when we gave our little 
you know, excerpt of what we felt our particular gifts were, those would be, those definitely have the application of what she's talking about now. Mm -hmm. During, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. Okay, so based on that, what do you believe your spiritual gift or gifts are? Is, are, I, I don't think anyone has just one. Sorry about that. Look at, did you go back to four, chapter four, one, Michelle? No, I didn't. I read um, from four, verse 11, where it started talking about the pastors, giving some to be pastors and evangelists. I took the little um, uh, application uh, explanation okay. of that verse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. yeah, you can you can do one for sure if it if it if, you know. If it well, I I think four four and one it's it's pretty much I think I think what you were saying. Therefore, the prisoner for the Lord, the prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live worthily of the calling which which with which you have been called, with okay. all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Mm -hmm. and making every effort to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Mm -hmm. there, at, there is one body and one spirit, just as you too were called to the one hope of your calling. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of, um, so when we talk about, it's, it's the spiritual gifts, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, one Lord, one faith. Then it goes into that was Ephesians four, one through four. four that right. I right. And that was in the section on one, one, and one from last week, I think. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um yeah, I, I guess we can, you know, I, I kind of agree that it, it's both, Michelle, with what you yeah. were mm -hmm. you were okay. saying in this too. Mm. The calling for which you have been called. So it kind of goes back to, to what we read previously, I think last week. Yeah. But I am thinking that it is when she says, what are your spiritual gifts? You know how we said the spirit will give, give mm -hmm. uh, members of the body certain right. gifts so that it yeah. can, for the benefit of the body. And we were saying, you don't have to try to encroach you know, work within your lane, you know, what you, what mm. you're good at. Right. Right. Mm. And know right. that you have yeah. value because you're, you're contributing to making the body whole. Mm. Right. So, yeah. yeah, that's true. Like, you know, all the stuff Jim does, those are, that's what God had him to do and equipped him with everything he needs right. to get his stuff done. I don't want to do that stuff. And I don't have the talent for it or the and whatever yeah, it is i don't exactly good at that stuff and thank god because <laughs> and you know everybody there and even you know like alicia was saying you and you you've got that great um not only that gift alicia of like coordinating but that when yeah. it's time you know you're really good at reaching out and and you know like even the card sending and that compassionate side Compassion, of you that right. things really have it and you know that detail you have and you you are so good about calling people and sending them things and mm -hmm. giving us cards I mean you've sent me cards in the mail I'm like oh my god that's so sweet I hope she understands that I, I just I never send cards <laughs> I don't you know I don't do that stuff and then god dude it's just not that it's not on my heart, but I'm just one of those people like there's, you know, I can't really have plants. I love them. They're beautiful, but I forget to water them. And then all of a sudden they're brown. And, you know, so it's, I don't have that, whatever it is you need there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can nurture, I've raised children and I love my dogs, but give me a plant. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you can't, <do> I, it. <laughs> you know, forget it. But, you know, and well, we you're, all, in the, you're in the day to day, you're engaged in the day to day right. managing of the affairs of that need to keep, keep up, uh, you know, an organization running and efficient. 
And so that is, that is what you're contributing. And we don't have to feel that we have to be everything, you mm -hmm. know, we, we fit, yeah, we, we, fit. <laughs> we fit where we need to fit, you know, and I think, yeah. you know, uh, uh, people have, you know, governing and administrative uh, uh, principles yes. that, yeah. that are so helpful that others couldn't do. I couldn't do what Harriet does, you know, in terms of having that understanding mind of how you administer, you know, the right things for a body of people and, and you know, having a gentleness in, in handling things and a finesse of handling things, oh. you know, that's just, that's, that's really good. I told you all before, where I think I fit in is if you guys say, oh, well, do you think, you know, do we, can we get somebody to help with this? You know, I'll, <laughs> when the Lord says, get off your little lazy butt, you know, <laughs> then, then, then I'll say, okay, I think I can help you out with that. You know, so it's, it, yeah. I, I help at certain times, you know? So that's, you know, and we shouldn't feel, we shouldn't feel like we have to make a, a justification where we'll, you know, hey, that's what you do. That's, that's good. Right. That's right. Just function in that. We, we mm -hmm. need it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We need everybody. We really do. Right. We need everybody. Yeah. I think that's what she's trying to say here is that yeah. we all have different, you know, gifts. And like, you know, you said, you know, Michelle, you, or was that you stay in your lane? you know yeah yeah and, um you know so and and be supportive not jealous of the person you know and oh, that's, you go. that's what yeah. happens yeah. a lot of time we end up you know well how come you doing this you always do this well because you're not doing no yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it <laughs> yeah but you know and i and i think you know we should be more encouraging you know and i look at the church and I just pray when we come back together, we can still have that spirit of, you know, how can we grow? What can we do in order to keep the church growing and uh, uplift God, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, one other thing I think some, sometimes we're called upon and not that, you know, we feel that we have to show that we can do this or do that. But sometimes mm -hmm. let's take for something very simple. If Alicia said, you know what, I'm just I just got so busy, I meant to call so and so, or I meant to say Michelle or Harry, do you think you could do? Mm -hmm. And then we may be stepping out into an area that we don't usually do. But if somebody says, well, yeah. Do you think you can fill in for me or do? And then we shouldn't shrink back like, well, I won't be able to do it like how they can do it. You know, no, the important <laughs> thing is that that person is asking, can you be, you know, can you support me, you right. know, at this time in this? Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we go in there and we say, okay, we're going to do the best that we can do. It won't be like that person, but mm -hmm. we're going to do the best that we can because mm -hmm. we were asked, because we were, you know, they, they needed that help and we're going to be available for that. Mm -hmm. I think that's the spirit we should be in, even when we have to operate sometimes outside of what we really, you know, really can do. And Harry, don't you ask me no more about no right to pay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave myself open for that? <laughs> But, but I was going to say, you know, it's like being in the finance room and it's like, oh, please have, have, have somebody, have Maria sitting at that yes. computer. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, no, no, please. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Because now I have to, I'm like, okay, you know what? I didn't have to do the copying before. I, yes. Now yes. Just, you know, but, it's like, oh, man. But we all picked up, we all kind of picked yes, with yes. our jobs, you know? Yes, like, right. You're, you're do doing Sunday you know? school, right? And it works. You know? <laughs> you're right, Harriet. You're right. For sure. Uh, it's so you're funny. Right. Whenever we go back, we're going to have to be retrained. Out of my head. Yeah. Yeah. I will be very happy <laughs> to take a few weeks off oh, when man. we all come back. <laughs> yeah, two or oh, two or three goodness. years of not doing oh, this. It's like, oh yeah. man. I oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is so funny. But I you know, know it's no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh I no, listen. I was just gonna say it's funny because 
there was things about it that I don't, I didn't have to even think about. Like once that was all in the bag, that was Tim or Honor's job. You know, yes. we didn't, I didn't even have to think the copying here. You want to copy those? All right, great. Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know the code to the copy machine. Like I didn't even care. Yeah. And now That's it's nice. like, I yeah. And then doing, yeah. you know, writing in the book and, and doing this and, and, and separating, which again, there's not that much like there used to be. Mm -hmm. but you know I always think like I still in my mind like okay this is what Harriet usually does she's sitting here and this is what Michelle does and then Tim and Honor are over here doing whatever and, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah and Harriet always was awesome because she always did the coffee machine and I'm like I'll do the computers because it's so easy for me the computer and so yeah. now doing it all I still I'm like, I still haven't fully, I haven't given up those positions. I'm like, okay, I'm doing what Harriet does. And I'm going to hear what Michelle does. And I guess I'll do, you know, what Tim and Honor do. And he, I, know. And I, I always, I laugh, I giggle when I go to make the deposit sometimes. And I'm like, I always remember Harriet saying, oh, one time I let, we left the key in there. And so I always text. <laughs> I think that was the time I went with, it was me and Alicia, oh, and, I, and I, zipped, I zipped the bag, I put the, I put the bag in the, in the, you know, in the bank drawer, and it was like, oh, the key is in there. <laughs> And, and I had never done, that. I had never done that part before. Usually I do with honor See? or something. Yeah, right. I don't even yeah. have to think about it. Yeah, I know. And then the praying over it, you know, usually now I'll take it into pastor's office. I'm like, okay, well, will you, you know, pray over that? I'm like, I did everything else. You can pray over it. Yeah, this we need you for, please. Exactly. Or if KP's there, I'm like, hey, can someone come and pray over this, please? Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So, that's funny no, definitely definitely yeah funny. but yeah so stuff, well, that's a great example of the finance room because it was such was a such a well-oiled ministry down there it really, it really was. was and so yeah. i'm oh, just wow. kind of keeping it all until y'all get back till we get Have back it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, whenever what? whenever it happens it happens but yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's ready for you down there, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> Man. Oh my goodness. But that yeah, so all right. Let's go. And this will probably be a two-parter because there's a bunch of um is it the questions? Yeah, there's 11 questions. No, 14 questions. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a little bit different. And so, okay, so verse eight, Tubby, I can't help you right now, buddy. All right, he ascended and gave gifts, verse eight. Here, Paul alludes to Psalm 68, 18. The Psalm celebrates how God has overcome Israel's enemies in battle and pictures him as a conquering king ascending Mount Sinai after a victory. You ascend on high, you have taken many captives, you receive tribute from men, including even sinful rebels, Psalm 68, 18. Paul paints an updated version of this image of God as the conquering hero, this time with Jesus as conqueror. Paul starts this picture by describing the ultimate triumph over one's enemies, Jesus's death and resurrection transitions to Christ's ultimate ascension on high, the ascension, Acts 1, 9 and 10, Ephesians 4 and 10, and then concludes with an introduction to the spiritual gifts. In Paul's vision, Christ is such an awesome conqueror that instead of receiving tribute, he distributes victory gifts. Ooh, and these gifts help the body of Christ mature. Huh? I like the way that sounds. Yeah. Victory gifts. We have victory gifts, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I like that. But to the victor goes the spoils. You know, that's what happens when right? countries conquer up to the victor goes the spoils. So uh -huh. we have the victory gifts because Christ is the conqueror. 
That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That makes I sense. I like that. Mm-hmm. the body. Yeah. Gift that keeps on giving. All right. So I tried to find it's so funny because that 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 little thing was in the book that <laughs> and so I had to go online and try to find something similar. And I think I did. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. have all the writing on it, but so it says in the body diagram above, write Christ on the head, verse 14, fill in some details, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, fingers, toes, then write the names of the spiritual gifts Paul lists on verse 11 on different parts of the body. So I put, well, Christ at the head, and then I put apostles, evangelists, prophets, pastors, teachers. Mm -hmm. But if you're going back to that, okay. Um, sorry, we're going back up to 11. I'm guessing that's what they're. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where those come from. Mm -hmm. It was 11. he. So apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those are the those are the uh offices that prepare the body that's mm -hmm. what it says to prepare god's people for works of service mm -hmm. yeah so it's kind of like they it's kind of like that's the hierarchy not that it's just that it ends there but that's the hierarchy that helps to do the you know right the, um mm -hmm. The enabling, the preparate, you know, the, the preparation, the, the, equip, the equipping, the equipping. That's right. Equip, right. Equipping yes. the saints. Equipping yes. The saints. yes. Yeah. Okay. Write our five E's. <laughs> so Evangelizing right. the sinner, equipping the saints, uh -huh. encouraging one another, edifying, edifying. Uh -huh. something. And then what was the last E? Ooh. Equipping, edifying, equipping. That's probably on our site. I don't know. Evangelizing? Did I say evangelizing? Yes. Yeah. Evangelizing. Yeah. I did. Second. I don't evangelizing. Know. Evangelizing, evangelizing, equipping, encouraging, edifying. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I and there's five one. of them, right? Yeah. There's five of them. It's in our mission statement. Um, no, in our mission statement, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's on one of those flyers. It's on our yeah, thing. Yeah, somewhere. you think I'd know. Yeah. Uh, I know where I got it. I just have to get it. Lord, I'll have to think while we're studying. Oh, God. That's not, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go get it. Mm. I have it in my notes. Oh, I know. It'll come to me, I'm sure. Okay. That is definitely not a victory gift, huh? My memory. <laughs> 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 All right. What did what does Paul say is the purpose of such gifts? Hint, it's not popularity, attention, one upping, or lording over. Verse 12. Uh the purpose. Mm. All right. Verse 12. So I put equip the saints and build up the body of build Christ. Up. Yeah. That's right. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, that's it. I shall return. <laughs> it's, are you getting it? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> well she's going to get it i know where mine is if she comes back with hers then that's fine okay all right well, I'm, in not, this... I'm not sure i'm th i'm looking in my little <laughs> look in my bag <laughs> yeah we all got a little bag that yeah, i know right? Right? So i have my we, bag too my oh my it's my down bag. here and it's overflowing and it's right <laughs> in there yeah oh, and it must have wrappers in it because cinnamon keeps trying to get in it <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it's for the it's for the building up, you know, and not it the building is. up of ourselves to get big headed yeah. about it, but mm -hmm. you know, the building up for the the um so that we can be that what minister Francis or so we can be that light on the hill, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Church that's a light on the hill that be the drawing power that others will want, you know, to to um to come to know Christ through what we do in service, you know, in serving, I should say. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't find it. Okay, hold on. I know where my, I <laughs> where my <laughs> look, I'm looking for. I thought it was on, it's not on our website. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. but I can't. Oh, yeah, you're it right. It is, but, but you can't go there now, huh? Well, I'm looking uh, not at on my this phone. computer, but I probably could on my phone. Yeah, I was trying to look for my phone. Stop, guys. Yeah. Mm. I'll help you out. I think I have it in, in a particular spot. Oh, that is so yeah. I'll be It'll be shameful if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I did. So hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Just a little hold on. Yeah, it's in something that is printed. Yeah, and it has a picture of our church on it. Yeah, it's our little uh, brochure that used to be. It's totally outdated now. It's yeah. not accurate, I but just, it does I don't have it in that. There. It has our 5E. Yeah, I think it's with all my board stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, Lord. All right. It's on this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it says, the purpose and mission evangelize the sinner got it equip the saints mm -hmm. we did not know this one and this is shameful exalt the savior ah, ooh, oh. that's bad we didn't know that's didn't, very very oh bad my. and we yeah. did not know this one encourage we were saying it but not really really said, well, encourage, said, encourage one, one another, another. Yes, I said it. She okay. said it. Maria said encourage. The one okay, we now, didn't do now, was exactly. Now, here's the other one that we didn't know, and this is shameful too. Engage in prayer. Oh, then mm. I have one wrong. So edify isn't on there, is it? No. Engage. Well, it's part encourage. of it, but it's in part where it's encourage one another. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so say those again. So evangelize the sinner. Evangelize. I'm writing these down. <laughs> e e equip the saints. Equip the saints. Okay. Exalt the, the savior. savior. Oh, yeah. We won't forget that one now. Never. Encourage. Encourage one another. And, and for as in, much as we talk about this and have, have Saturday, engage, engage in prayer. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, you all. That's mm. the five E's. That's to be remembered. Yes. Mm. Oh, boy. Wow. Mm. How do we forget exalt the Savior? Well, we ain't going to forget no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, so just remember the five. You're that, that's right. If we remember the five E's, exalt, encourage, engage, evangelize, and equip. And then we'll yeah. remember the other part. Sure we will, Harriet. Oh, exalt the Savior. And that's like, that's major. Oh, that's major. Oh, no. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Forgive us, Lord. Okay. Engage in prayer. Engage Those should have been the prayer. first two that I we just, yeah. I just did something to the three for the three of you, so. Yes, yeah, thank check. you. Yeah, just just check your check your your phone. So. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. For it. Okay. All right. I knew I had it. Yeah. I mean, I, look, 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 all the stuff in the book. I know. I had to We all got one of these. <laughs> I have about a hundred of them at the church. Apparently, yeah. I don't ever look at them. I know. I have them too. So I, there I you go. Them. It's like I should have. Oh, that look at that! Bible. They spelled it. They spelled exalt wrong. Uh -oh. They should be in our Bible. How did they spell exalt? 
with an H at E X H A L T. Oh, yes, the H is not there. Yeah. Just mm. exalt without H. I don't know who made these up. It was years ago that these were made. Well, we need to correct that. Oh, we definitely do. Yeah, exactly. Well, we need yeah. to redo this whole thing because there's Bible studies and ministries in there that no longer exist. Yeah. It'd have to be, yeah, we have to, but so. But there, you have that little thing there now on your your um, on our phones. Yeah, save that, save that picture. Go right to. Okay, I know what it is. We exalt. We oh, thank you. I see. It. <laughs> I, yeah, exalt will always mm -hmm. be first now, yeah. as it should be. And engage in prayer will be first. Those two. Well, will be yes, first. definitely. And, yes. Then evangelize the sinner. That needs to be the, the third one, and then we can say <laughs> encourage one another. <laughs> And now I see this is the fifth one you never can get. And that's equip the saints. Equip. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. we be equipping. Okay. <laughs> we be equipping. <laughs> Either we get a whipping or we're we gonna we be, be equipping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you cannot whip, then you that's must good equip. <laughs> right. Remember what's his name with uh, OJ's trial? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Let's make one of our sessions be inclusive of something of African American history, something or another. Well, okay. why don't we just do next Tuesday? We'll do a Black history study. You want to okay. do that or talk about it? Talk about something talk about, that has to do yeah. with African American history. Definitely. Or? That's fine with me. I'd love it. You okay, know, so. if you want to um, have one one person that we. I don't know, highlight or one event in, in, in African American history that we want to say something about. We can do that. Want to do that like each week? Yeah, that's fine. I don't yeah, It doesn't have to be anything, yeah, long. Uh, an event or a person yeah. that we want to, to say something about in, uh, for African American okay. history. For sure. I yeah. Think that's a nice way. I of think that's awesome. Observing mm -hmm. the month. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what do you think? Idea. Because Alicia was our Alicia uh, is a you know, that's right. <laughs> our curator, curator. Don't have me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh, what do they call it? In-house historian of African American history. That's right. <laughs> right. And, and oh Sister Fayretta. That's, that's right. That's right. She is. Yes. That is yes. very, very true. Maybe we will actually be able to get her on here. <laughs> you know, she was little... very, yeah. She might. She yeah. Was really interested in doing something for Black history. For, um, but I don't even know if we have kids left. I don't know about, you know, I don't even think having. That we do really. Yeah. 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 Wow. So I think that um, Ali, uh, was it her name? Um, Alicia Walker. I think Diane said they were moving out of state. Um, Alicia Walker? Yeah, yeah she's the one with had, the three boys. Two of them were ushers. Oh, and the little yeah. Little not, the I never yeah. remember their last name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that wipes out three of them right there. We kind of, we don't see Maya very often Sims. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we really, Davion is our one, <laughs> one little. I know, and right? Support, and he's in Fairfield. Yeah. So <laughs> exactly. Had, yeah, he had to switch oh. locations. So, yeah. yeah. He was our little prayer warrior and everything else. <laughs> right? <laughs> He is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we can we can think of something to yeah to say and do and uh, yeah yeah. 
Yeah, it doesn't have to. Well, be. I'll send that email out. So we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Maybe I'll I'll kind of text the group here tomorrow and and just talk about like what we want to do for next Tuesday, and then I can send the email out to you know just us and Teresa and Valerie and um and Diane. That way, they've got a heads up oh, on yeah. what's going to happen next week, and I'll include. Fayretta and you know those like Alice and see if they want to join and it'll just be kind of a special um women's bible yeah. study thing during February so that's fine with me okay because this lesson I mean well you know it's always it's going to be here so whenever we do yeah. it we're not on a timeline mm -hmm. so yeah I think that's great fine up. with me um yeah so ouch any comments other than that i'll pray us out and we're good yeah mm -hmm. all right Whew. gracious heavenly father lord we just come to you so grateful and thankful and yes, lord. woke us up this morning and started us on our way lord and you kept us safe all night and lord you protect us and our, our families and we are so grateful and we just are grateful to see another day to rejoice and be glad and then lord we do ask forgiveness of sins once more we are always in need of forgiveness lord and we just thank you for your grace and your mercy and your loving kindness and lord we ask blessing upon all of us that we're able to be here tonight and all of the families represented here yes. and all of the special gifts that you have uh, just provided for us, Lord, that, that helps us keep this ministry going and, and the church. And we just, we realize we need everybody, Lord. And we just thank you for everything that you put in us and especially for a heart and a mind to serve you, Lord. And we just ask blessing upon those that weren't able to be here tonight, Sister mm -hmm. Diane, Sister Valerie, Sister Teresa, and we know that, that they want to be here and, and mm -hmm. life just gets in the way sometimes, but they are prayed for. Mm -hmm. We just lift them up to you, Lord, and their families as well. And Lord, we just thank you for this Bible study as your word continues to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And Lord, we just want to <clears throat> also in addition to all of the sick and shut in and all of the prayer requests that were offered at the beginning, Lord, and, and those prayer requests that we do not know of and yes. just lifting sister Carol Ellis up to you as well, yes. Lord. And she just such a soldier for Christ and has done so much in the ministry over so many years. And Lord, we just ask that you just wrap her in your loving arms and, and all of those as Sister Alicia calls the wise and wonderful list. And Lord, we just we just ask for blessing upon all of those on the list and their families as well. And Lord, we just ask that you continue to help us to always remember to evangelize the sinner, equip the saints, yeah. exalt the savior, encourage one another and engage in prayer. And Lord, we know yeah. it's so powerful and it works. And Lord, we just thank you for that reminder of our five E's, Lord. And we just, you know, apologize for our memories, <laughs> but not, we always have them. In. So Lord, we just thank you. And, and we ask for blessing upon our homes and our families as we leave. Lord, we, we may leave the Bible study in each other, but we never leave your presence and you never leave us or forsake us. And Lord, we're so, and we love you. We praise you. We honor and worship you. And we pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God. Amen. 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 <laughs> so well, awesome. I will see you guys Sunday <laughs> at 11. Oh, we hope to see you. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay. For sure, for sure. Sunday. I'm going to have to come over there and drag Harriet out and say, come on, let's get in this car and let's go. <laughs> I was going to say maybe, maybe not. No, right. We'll see. We'll see. That's all right. No, that's I'm right. going to, yeah, I hope to be there. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Go walk no pressure. No worries. No pressure. Yeah. No pressure. Like I tell her, <laughs> yeah, if, if God, if God is willing to be there. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We're in overtime, bro. in the background. I'm just standing in the doorway for his opportunity. <laughs>
find out who's my man. He's, he's yeah. lurking. He's lurking around. Lurking. Oh my goodness! God bless okay. us, ladies. All right, All right. Sunday, God willing. Take care. Have a good All rest right. of the week. All bye right. bye now. Bye bye. <laughs>